My dream was to be a world champion in Jiu-Jitsu. You know, I trained hard for that, I trained for three years. I was a blue belt, and then Draculino said, man, you ready for go to the, 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 the championship, you know? Was in, still in Rio. And Draculino, man, you can't win that, you go there, make your job, make your game. And I was there and I won the, 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 the world championship in 2005. I was a blue belt. And after that, I said, man, I don't know if I want this anymore. You know, Draculino said, I started training in MMA. Everybody said, man, you're looking good, you're great in MMA, my box, my wrestling. Looking okay, and then Draculino have one tournament in Marília, São Paulo. And Draculino say, man, if you wanna fight, they have a Grand Prix, two fights the same night there. If you wanna go, you're ready. And I was a blue belt, and then I, I did my first one. After that, I I keep training too hard, I keep going to the tournaments, but after that, my focus was the MMA. I was very, very nervous, you know. Have a crowd outside, and Draculina and Master, Master Olympia was with me. I start to, to be like that, and I said, I cannot let Draculina see that, you know, because I, I feel embarrassed. And then my my Muay Thai coach, Olympia, he come for pass the, the oil in my legs, and I say, man, he's gonna see that. When I put the leg on top of the, the, the chair, my leg was like that, and he looked for me and said, man, don't worry, it's like that, it's okay. And then Draculino talked to me too, man, control, it's, it's, it's exactly like that, I already fight before, I'm feeling the same thing, don't worry. But when I stop inside the, 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 the ring, I say, man, I talked to Draculino before I fight, I say, man, that's my house. And then I, I won the first fight, like uh, one hour later, I won the second fight, and I say, man, that's gonna be my life, you know? I, I, I already have uh, 25 fights, it's, it's, it's a lot. Oh, nice! Whoa. The thing started when Draculino was in Brazil and he moved to Texas, you know? When he moved to Texas, I feel really bad because he always gave me all his advertising, you know? he always helped me a lot. He always said what I have to do inside the map, outside the map. He always was a big master, a big example for me inside and outside the map. I think that's very important. You cannot be just a good master inside the map, you know? Had to be an example outside. And then when he moved to Texas, I was feeling a little loose, you know. I said, man, how am I going to stay here without him? And then I had my first loss. Uh, and after that, I called him like one week later. I called him for Draculino. I cannot stay here without you. I want to go to the United States. You know, I want to train for you. And then he said, man, Sapo, sorry, but I don't have a team for you training now. I just moved to Texas. Go to hands and stay there for one month, one month and see how it's going to be. And then I went to Texas. When the people know that I, uh, I'm a Draculino student, they, man, they open all the doors for me. You know, hands or his family, they treat me very, very good. And then I stayed there and I talked to one guy, say, man, I want to fight in UFC. And it was funny because I still don't speak English, but before I don't speak nothing, you know. And the people uh, ask me, how oh, do you fight in UFC? And I say, no yet. And it sounds a little arrogant, you know, uh, no yet. But I don't know what to mean, but I just answered that. <laughs> and then I start to fight. I fight in the ring of combat. My first fight was in Dallas. Uh, Draculino was there with me, you know, like all the fights, and then I, I won some fights, and after my, my manager gave me the opportunity for a fight against Travis Luter, you know, he's a, uh, he's ready to fight for the belt with Anderson Silva, when my manager gave me that, Draculino, he said, man, if you beat this guy, you, you're going to put him in UFC, I was very excited about this fight, I trained three months hard for, for, for beating him, and I beat him in the first round and knocked him out, and then that's how I, I, I have my, my chance in UFC. <laughs> Man, I don't have a, a, a really game plan, you know, I like to fit in the fight, I train hard, I train everything, I always, my coaches when they schedule the fight, they always ask me for training less. I never have a, a, one coach that say, man, you have to train more, I never hear that, because I train a lot. One time they scheduled the fight for me in UFC, and the, the, my opponent changed for three times. You know, and then that's what happened in the fight. You cannot train just for one thing. Ah, I'm gonna fight this the guy, I'm gonna take him down and control the fight. Of course, I like to, 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 to fight on the ground. You know, my jiu-jitsu is the best weapon. I, I'm, I'm feeling good in my stand-up, my boxing, my Muay Thai. You know, I work with Angel, Mark, Phil Nurse, Roman. I have a great coach, but my, the best thing is my jiu-jitsu. I like to take everybody down, control and submit. That's always the, my, my first thing about the fight, but it's hard nowadays. Everybody know everything, you know? So I try to train every, everything and feeling how it's gonna be. If, they, if it's tough to take the guy down, if I fight against the good wrestlers and I can't take the guy down, I'm gonna stand up, I can stand up with everybody, you know? If I stand up with the guy and I feel that I can't take him down, I'm gonna take him down and make the easy job, you know? Put in my area, that's the, the jiu-jitsu. But always, doesn't matter who I'm gonna fight, the plan is to submit, the plan is to take the guy down, but I'm prepared for everything. When I don't have a fight, I love training with Gi. I really love training, I try, I train, I try to train like two or three times 
uh, with the gi, that helped me a lot. That's how you, you're gonna improve your jiu-jitsu, you know? But I, I train everything. Doesn't matter if I have a fight or not, my schedule is almost, almost the same. I just put the intensity when, when I have a fight. You know? but normally my schedule is for, for eight years is almost the same. You know? Three, two trainers a day, uh, swimming, running, wrestling, jiu-jitsu, MMA, gi, no gi. I always train almost, almost the same schedule every, every day. When they, 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 they begin of the, the UFC, it's style against style, right? Jiu-Jitsu against Karate, against Muay Thai. Nowadays, every, everybody knows Jiu-Jitsu. You can see how, how, how this, this martial arts, how Jiu-Jitsu is important, because everybody's tra training that. Everybody, everybody. You cannot fight in, uh, uh, MMA if you don't know Jiu-Jitsu, you know? So, uh, the people say, ah, maybe wrestling is better than Jiu-Jitsu, maybe this is better, but if it was better, they don't train Jiu-Jitsu. You know, everybody nowadays have a a, a great uh, jiu-jitsu coach. You know, everybody need a need a, a high level jiu-jitsu. If you don't have a good jiu-jitsu, you can survive MMA. It's impossible. You know, so nowadays everybody know how, how powerful jiu-jitsu is for, for for the martial arts. I always train with my coach. They always follow me. Draculino, he's living in, here in Texas, and I live in New York. But I always send my, my videos for him, for he watch, see what he's gonna, what he's think about, what he think I have to improve. You know, and the great thing is because all the my coach work together. You know, they they always on the, the same page, and that's very important to have a good coach and they have a, a good relationship. You know, that's a, that, that's great, and we have that. Man, uh, my plan is to win this fight, you know. Uh, very excited for the start the, the, this year in January. Um, when I, I ask a lot of UFC for the schedule this fight. When they give me the, the news that they, 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 I'm gonna fight in this one, I feel very happy. I wanna beat Tom Austin, you know. I wanna knock him out or submit him. And I wanna fight uh, maybe around three or four times this year, you know. I wanna make a lot of noise this year. Gonna be my year. Uh, trust a lot in God and have big things for me in this year. I want to get on the belt, you know, that's my plan, doesn't matter who they, they give me, um, I know my, my time is gonna, gonna, gonna arrive, you know, I'm gonna go little by little, step by step, but I don't want to fight against nobody, I just want to get, get on the top level, high level. I want to say thank you for everybody, it's a pleasure to be here in Texas, in Houston, you know, I'm very lucky to have my master, his students for help me, I'm very pleasure to be here, uh, I want to come more, you know, I have a really good time here, and thank God to have a friend, have a team, have a coach like that. Thank you everybody for support and let's go for this fight January 31st against Tom Watson. You guys are gonna watch a great fight, a good performance for me.